so we are gathered here today on the 19th day of October to witness the coming together of two people. Now the 19th has a lot of significance in your all's relationship, right? Last year, 2023, you had a housewarming party on August the 19th. And after all the gifts have been opened, Jacob, you proposed on that right night, the 19th, right? Then it just so happened that the two of you did your engagement photo shoot on November the 19th. So today, the third time becomes the charm for the 19th as two people, I believe, whose hearts, spirits, minds really are already as one, you become a married couple this afternoon. Those of you who know Jacob and Lindsay best, I know you can already attest to the love that they have for one another, the blended hopes and dreams and goals that the two of them share. And when such a bond exists like that, it becomes only natural that we do something public, like celebrate it by having a wedding ceremony. But then on Valentine's Day 2017, the two of you became an official couple. Now I guess that's as official a couple as you can be when you were a senior and a junior in high school. But the two of you have blossomed since those high school days to graduating as UCF engineering students. And you've got so much to be proud of in relationship to that. But at some point on that August the 19th night, Jacob, the two of you decided to get married. And from that moment of yes to this moment of saying yes, the two of you have been making promises and agreements in a very informal way. All of those conversations that the two of you had while you were riding in a car, or maybe you had them over a meal, maybe during a long walk, some of those sentences that maybe began with, you know what, when we get married, and maybe they continued with, I'll do this, or maybe you'll do that. All those late night talks that maybe included the word someday, somehow, maybe. All of those promises are really unspoken matters of the heart. All those things are really the process of a wedding. The vows that you are about to make in a moment are simply a way of saying to one another, Hey, you know all those things we talked about and thought about and dreamed about? Man, I meant it. Every single word of it. And as the two of you grow in your marriage, I will encourage you to just remember that the little things become the big things. Don't ever get too old to hold hands just like that. Try to remember to say I love you at least once a day. Don't go to sleep angry. Don't take the other person for granted. And don't let your courtship end when the honeymoon does. Keep the romance going. Jacob, Lindsay, the two of you have pledged your vows to one another this afternoon. You have agreed to wed one another, and we have consecrated this celebration with the giving and accepting of wedding rings by the virtue of the authority given to me by the state of Florida. It's a thrill to say you guys are husband and wife at this point. With all the legal stuff out of the way, it is time to have some fun and start the party. So Jacob, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Thank you.
get on your feet. Mr. and Mrs. Strong. Woo!